really nice grill marks. They're nice and kind of golden brown on the outside. Oh, and they smell fantastic. And I'm gonna serve these over top of some grilled naan bread. It's just an Indian flatbread. You can find these at the grocery store these days. Serve it with a little bit of mango chutney as well. A little bit on top. And I'm gonna serve my koftas with an Indian tomato salad from our website. Doesn't it look delicious? Here's how to get it just right. Finely mince the garlic, ginger, and jalapeno so they evenly flavor the meat. And to easily form the koftas, roll the meat into balls, then gently shape them on the skewers. And that's why this Canadian living recipe is kept until perfect. After the break, crispy coconut chicken with cauliflower and potatoes. We'll be right back. For the lady who prefers to maintain a classic shape,
also for me, they have a lot more flavor. But we want to have them without the skin on. And you very seldom see them in a grocery store without the skin on. But the skin is really easy to remove. You just have to kind of take it using a paper towel just to help pull it off. It's very easy. So we want to season our drumsticks with a little bit of salt first. Adding some flavor right into the meat. And then we can dredge them into our breadcrumb mix. So once we get a nice even coating, we're going to then put it in some egg. So I mixed up one egg over here. Just give it a toss. And we're going to bread these again. We want them super crispy. So I have a cup of coconut here, and this is unsweetened. We'll add that into the leftover breadcrumb mix. Just give it a toss. And if you want to get your kids to help you, you can always do this in a resealable bag. Less mess that way. And then we'll just coat it in that coconut. And we're also not frying these. We're baking these in the oven. baking sheet. Again. And now we can get started on our aloo gobi. So you might have seen this dish in Indian restaurants. It's made with potatoes, aloo, and cauliflower gobi and lots of Indian spices. And it's yellowish in color because of the turmeric. And there are a few variations of this dish, but the name remains the same. So we're going to start by making our spice mix. Now I know it looks like a lot of spices here, but all these spices are going to be found in your grocery store. So we're going to start with our ground coriander. We also have here some curry powder, just three quarters of a teaspoon. And this already is a great combination of spices. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic powder, and a beautiful turmeric, which is going to give it some great color. I'm also going to use some cumin, the cumin, Coriander, both of those things pair perfectly together. And just a little pinch of cayenne. You still want to have a little bit of heat. So I'm just going to add all of these to my bowl. I'll give them a whisk. And I'm going to take a teaspoon of this. And I'm going to put this aside for later. So I'm going to use this to make a yogurt sauce. I'm going to drizzle in two tablespoons 